Roots of Julius Caesar Julius Caesar, the rise and fall of Rome's most famous leader. Gaius Julius Caesar, 100 BCE to 44 BCE, was a pivotal figure in Roman history, whose life and actions significantly shaped the course of Western civilization. His military brilliance, political acumen, and ambition led him from a relatively modest beginning to become the dictator of the Roman Republic, setting the stage for the transition to the Roman Empire. Caesar's legacy is one of greatness intertwined with controversy, as his power ultimately led to his assassination and the collapse of the Roman Republic. Early Life and Background Caesar was born on July 12, 100 BCE, to a patrician family that, despite its noble status, was not particularly wealthy or influential. His father, Gaius Julius Caesar, held some minor political positions, while his mother, Aurelia, was known for her strong character and played a significant role in his upbringing. The family claimed descent from Iolus, the son of the Trojan prince Aeneas, believed to be a son of the goddess Venus, which added to Caesar's sense of destiny. Caesar's youth was marked by the political turbulence of the late Roman Republic. The power struggles between the Optimates, aristocratic faction, and populars, popular faction, shaped his early political career. When Lucius Cornelius Sulla, the leader of the Optimates, became dictator, Caesar, who was linked to the populars through his marriage to Cornelia, faced danger and had to flee Rome. Sulla's eventual death in 78 BCE allowed Caesar to return and begin his rise to power. Early Military and Political Career Caesar's early career was defined by his military service and his skill in rhetoric. He served in Asia Minor and was awarded the civic crown for saving a fellow soldier in battle. This experience helped him gain a reputation as a brave and competent soldier. Upon returning to Rome, he pursued a career in politics, holding various positions such as military tribune, quaestor, and aedile, which allowed him to gain popularity among the common people. As Pontifex Maximus, the chief priest of Rome, Caesar acquired immense influence, allowing him to manipulate political and religious practices to his advantage. His alliances, especially with Crassus, one of Rome's wealthiest men, and Pompey, a celebrated general, solidified his political foundation. This coalition, known as the First Triumvirate, was a powerful force in Roman politics, albeit an unofficial and fragile one. The Gallic Wars Caesar's military genius was fully displayed during the Gallic Wars, 58-50 BCE. As the governor of Cisalpine Gaul, northern Italy, and Transalpine Gaul, southern France, he embarked on a series of campaigns that greatly expanded Roman territory. His conquest of Gaul, modern-day France and Belgium, brought enormous wealth and prestige to him personally, as well as to Rome. The Gallic Wars showcased Caesar's tactical brilliance, as he defeated various tribes, including the Helvetii, Belgi, and Veneti. His most notable victory came in 52 BCE at the Battle of Elysia, where he besieged the Gallic chieftain Vercingetorix and secured Roman dominance in Gaul. This campaign not only elevated Caesar's status but also provided him with a battle-hardened and loyal army, which he would later use to challenge his rivals in Rome. Crossing the Rubicon and Civil War As his term as governor neared its end, tensions between Caesar and his political enemies in Rome especially Pompey, had escalated. The Senate, fearing Caesar's growing power, ordered him to disband his army and return to Rome as a private citizen. Refusing to comply, Caesar made a fateful decision in 49 BCE to cross the Rubicon, a small river that marked the boundary between his province and Italy proper. His words, the die is cast, Latin, alia iacta est, symbolized his commitment to a course of action that could not be reversed. Crossing the Rubicon ignited a civil war between Caesar and the forces loyal to Pompey and the Senate. Caesar's forces quickly advanced through Italy, forcing Pompey and his supporters to flee to Greece. In 48 BCE, Caesar decisively defeated Pompey at the Battle of Pharsalus, despite being outnumbered. Pompey fled to Egypt, where he was assassinated upon arrival. Dictatorship and Reforms 
After emerging victorious from the civil war, Caesar was appointed dictator multiple times, eventually becoming dictator perpetuo, dictator for life, in 44 BCE. His rule marked a period of significant reforms aimed at stabilizing and improving Roman society. These included Calendar reform, Caesar introduced the Julian calendar, which realigned the Roman calendar with the solar year. It was used for over 1,600 years until the Gregorian reform. Social reforms, he initiated debt relief measures, improved the distribution of grain, and began public works projects to provide employment. Senate reforms, to reduce the power of the traditional aristocracy, he expanded the Senate to include representatives from conquered territories, thereby diversifying its composition. Caesar also extended Roman citizenship to people in distant provinces, weakening the traditional power of the Roman aristocracy and centralizing power in his hands. While many of his reforms were beneficial, his accumulation of power alarmed the Senate and other political figures, who saw him as a threat to the Republic. Assassination and the Ides of March The concentration of power in Caesar's hands and his appointment as dictator for life provoked fear and resentment among many senators who saw themselves as defenders of the Republic. A conspiracy led by Brutus, Cassius, and other senators formed with the intention of restoring traditional Roman governance. On March 15, 44 BCE, the Ides of March, the conspirators carried out their plan, assassinating Caesar during a Senate meeting. He was stabbed 23 times, and according to some sources, his last words were et2, Brute. And you, Brutus, expressing betrayal upon seeing his friend among the assassins. The Aftermath and the Fall of the Republic The assassination did not restore the Republic as the conspirators had hoped. Instead, it plunged Rome into another series of civil wars. The power vacuum left by Caesar's death led to a struggle between his supporters, most notably Mark Antony and Octavian, Caesar's adopted heir, later known as Augustus, and the forces of the assassins. The eventual defeat of Caesar's assassins and the rivalry between Antony and Octavian culminated in the establishment of the Roman Empire. In 27 BCE, Octavian became the first Roman emperor, ushering in the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and stability. Thus, Caesar's life and death marked the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire. Caesar's Military Genius Julius Caesar was not only a skilled politician but also one of history's greatest military commanders. His ability to inspire loyalty, his innovative strategies, and his use of engineering in warfare were key factors in his success. During the Gallic Wars, he demonstrated exceptional leadership by adapting to diverse enemies and challenging terrains, such as building bridges over the Rhine and conducting a bold invasion of Britain. His tactics during the Civil War, including rapid movements and surprise attacks, often outmaneuvered his opponents. Even in desperate situations, such as the Siege of Alexandria, Caesar's quick thinking allowed him to turn the tide in his favor. Legacy Julius Caesar's impact on history is profound and multifaceted. His life and career greatly influenced the political structure of Rome, laying the groundwork for the Roman Empire and leaving a lasting legacy in Western culture. His writings, especially Commentarii de Bello Gallico, Commentaries on the Gallic War, provide valuable insights into Roman military history and his own campaigns. Caesar's name itself became synonymous with power, the title Caesar was used by subsequent Roman emperors and influenced the titles Kaiser in Germany and Tsar in Russia, signifying his lasting influence. His reforms, while controversial, modernized Rome and expanded its reach, integrating diverse cultures into the Roman system. However, the concentration of power in one individual also highlighted the tensions between autocracy and republicanism, a debate that resonates in discussions about governance even today. Key Accomplishments of Julius Caesar Transformation of the Roman Republic Caesar's reforms and conquests transformed the Roman Republic into the Roman Empire. Conquest of Gaul 58-51 BCE Caesar expanded Rome's territories by conquering modern-day France, Belgium, and parts of Britain. 
Crossing the Rubicon, 49 BCE Caesar led his legions across the Rubicon River, sparking a civil war that led to his rise to power. Reorganization of the Roman calendar, Caesar introduced the Julian calendar, a precursor to the modern Gregorian calendar. Strengthening of Roman infrastructure, Caesar invested in roads, bridges, and public buildings, strengthening Rome's infrastructure. Conclusion Julius Caesar was a complex figure whose ambitions reshaped the Roman world. His rise to power, military conquests, and subsequent assassination reflected the turbulent times of the late Roman Republic. Caesar's legacy endures as a paradox, he was both a champion of the people and a symbol of the end of the Republican ideals. The consequences of his life and death reverberated through history, leaving an indelible mark on Rome and the wider world. Julius Caesar, a brilliant military strategist and politician, rose to power in ancient Rome through his military conquests and political alliances. He played a pivotal role in the transition from the Roman Republic to the Roman Empire. Despite his assassination in 44 BCE, his legacy continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. His reforms and innovations had a lasting impact on Roman society and law, and his writings on history and military strategy remain influential today. Caesar's story, marked by triumph and tragedy, continues to fascinate scholars, writers, and leaders who see in him a blend of brilliance, ambition, and the tragic flaws that often accompany greatness.